hi welcome back to my channel well uh, we all know that analysis of variance in context experimental design is based on some important assumptions uh, which are based on errors and one of the important assumptions of analysis of variance is that the errors should be independently and normally distributed but sometimes uh, there are some circumstances when our data rather these errors are not normally distributed they don't have a constant uh, variance or uh, the homogeneity of the variances and uh, these errors are sometimes not independently nor identically distributed that means when we say independently that means the consecutive error terms are correlated uh, but uh, or uncorrelated rather uh, and uh, when we say identically that means there's an existence of homogeneity of variances that is not a certain kind of heterogeneity in context of the variances so uh, for that if uh, we have uh, uh, these errors uh, which are not normally distributed neither independently or identically distributed then we have to do certain kind of adjustments to the data which we have collected from fields or labs whatever the experimentation we are doing for that we need to do certain kind of assumptions and in statistical language we call that data transformation uh, as far as these data transformations are concerned, uh, there are three uh, different types of data transformations. Uh, one is known as logarithmic, another one is known as square root transformation, and the last one is known as angular or arc sine transformation. Uh, but the important thing here is to that uh, why we go for transformation is that uh, the main uh, idea behind uh, doing this kind of an adjustment whenever the assumptions of the errors or the assumptions of this algebraic procedures are not fulfilled is to stabilize the variance this is actually the idea behind these called uh, transformations so usually we have three different types of transformation one is logarithmic it is usually used whenever there's a huge range uh, or a wide range present in your data when we are interested to evaluate different type, kinds of treatments based on certain kind of parameters or characteristics and then we have square root transformation and arc sine these two are usually used uh, whenever the data which we have collected based on certain characteristics is in uh, percentage and uh, we have a choice uh, whether to go for square root or angular transformation for that there's a thumb rule uh, which is very uh, beautifully uh, quoted or uh, represented uh, in uh, Gomez and Gomez. It's a very important book uh, entitled Statistical Procedures for Agricultural Sciences. Uh, it's a wonderful book uh, and the authors are Gomez and Gomez. And uh, there are three important rules whenever our data is in the form of percentage. For that, how can we say a percentage data is normally distributed or it is not normally distributed? Uh, for the rule number one is that uh, uh, for percentage data like within the range of 30 to 70 percent they don't need any kind of adjustments that means they are considered to be normal but you or uh, you can also see there are some textbooks or there are some articles where they treat 20 to 80 percent also uh, as a normal data but uh, this is as per the standards uh, which are frequently used uh, that is 30 to 70 so whenever you have a range whenever you have data which is in percentage and it is within the limits of 30 to 70 then it is considered to be normal the rule number two is that if the data lies within the range of 0 to 30 or 70 to 100 but not the both that means either it lies in the lower extreme or the higher extreme because when i say lower and higher extreme that means below 30 or above 70 because 30 to 70 is considered to be a safe zone uh, in context of normal data so if you have a data which is in percentage and if it lies in the range of 0 to 30 or 70 to 100 but not in both extremes then we can apply square root transformation to normalize the variance or stabilize the variance but uh, if uh, either 
the rule 1 or rule 2 do not follow for example for percentage data that do not follow the range specified in rule number 1 or rule number 2 then we use to apply the angular or arc sign transformation that means if the data which is not in the range of 30 to 70 but it is in the range of 0 to 30 70 to 100 that means it is present in both the extremes so it is not present only in one extreme like in the case of square root transformation then we have to use angular or arc sign transformation so the square root transformation and arc sign transformation are usually used whenever we have data which is in percentage so we have some data sets here like uh, say for example we are evaluating different uh, treatments and we have some replicates and if you will see the first one this germination percentage the lowest range uh, of this uh, data set is 59 percent and the highest is uh, 89 percent so uh, it is in the range of uh, one rule number two that means it is uh, since uh, 30 to 70 is considered to be safe zone or uh, it's not that kind of a safe zone that is it is safe zone in context of normal uh, normal distribution but uh, we have some data which is outside the limits of uh, 70 uh, percent so we have the highest value that is 89 percent and the lowest is 59 percent so in this case we can apply the square root transformation simply we can use this sqrt function of excel if you are interested to perform this then we can simply put uh, say for example this first one then enter so we have the transformed values here we can simply uh, copy these treatments or the labels rather and we can drag this thing up to this and up to this here so we have transformed values which are square root transformed values here then uh, there's an another important uh, same germination percentage but if you will see here the lowest value is uh, 21 percent 25 percent 22 percent rather 21.89 percent and uh, highest is not 81 it is uh, here 85 percent it is 85 percent so this uh, data set or uh, this percentage data it lies in the both extremes so in such data types when we have a percentage data and it lies in the both extremes that is 0 to 30 uh, as well as 70 to 100 then uh, we have a clear uh, evidence that this type of data is not normally distributed or the variance is not stabilized so in this case we have to apply the adjustment or rather we have to apply the arc sign transformation and in order to perform the arc sign transformation we can simply use a function is equal to a s i n or rather we have to use degrees first then a s i n that it returns the arc sign of the number of radians then another bracket sqrt that is square root then we have to choose in which cell our data point is then oblique 100 then closing all these brackets so we have the transformed values which are arc sine or angular transformed values so we can drag all these up to here like this uh, so we have another case here that means if our data set is in percentage say for example it is below 10 uh, so here if we have we have a this data this is again in percentage so since it is only in one extreme and that to below 10 for that uh, the, 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 there's a clear thing one that we have to apply square root transformation but here in this case what we have to do uh, uh, to to apply the square root transformation normally we used to write this sqrt function in ms excel then put the value of the cell here or highlight the cell uh, value of this cell then press enter but for that we have to use this value plus 0 
five. That means we have to add each and every value which is in percentage, but it is less than 10%. We have to add 0 0.5 to that value. Then we have to do the square root transformation like this. Uh, so if we were data set is in within uh, is in the range of 0 to 30 or 70 to 100 but not in the both extreme we have to apply square root if it is in the both extremes then we have to apply this uh, angular or arc sign and if your data set is in percentage and the values are less than 10 then we have to add 0.5 to each and every observation then we have to do the square root transformation like this uh, but in case of uh, this scenario angular transformation if some values are zero then what we have to do we have to use this thing and replace that zero with this value 1 by 4 n n is the total number of observations and it depends how many treatments how many replicates you have in that uh, experimental design if your value is say for example 100 uh, 100 percent then you have to replace that 100 this uh, by this means 100 minus 1 by 4 n and where n is the number of observations but we can also use this arc sign transformation by simply using these tables which are usually uh, appendixed uh, in uh, various textbooks or you can google out also simply uh, you, here you can see in columns we have percentage and in the, the uh, we have uh, another thing here that is 0 1 2 3 4 these columns the rows uh, pertain to the percentage value and here they, uh, they uh, represent uh, the decimals, point decimals after this. Uh, say for example, if I will take uh, one, that means if I have a data point, data, uh, data or observation of which needs angular transformation, for example, it is 1.5. I have to use to pick this value here, that one, uh, it is 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4 .1, 1 1 and 1.5. So the arc sign transformed value of 1.5 is 7.05. Similarly, we can test it out also here. If, uh, for example, uh, I will use the same degrees, then ASIN, then the value I will put, say, for example, uh, this one, one, say, for example, 1.5. 1.5 then whole divided by like this what we have done here whole divided by not whole divided by then uh, i have to use assign then square root i have to use the square root value first sqrt then 1.5 for example then what i have to do i have to use this oblique 100 then keep all these values so for a trans for a uh, percentage value which is 1 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 its angular transformed value is 7.0 and you can see you can directly use this table instead of uh, doing the transformation if you have a clear case that you have to apply the angular transformation then you can use these uh, tables are uh, also which are arc sign percentage transformed uh, values in the margins to the angles of equal information of the degrees the plus or minus sign in this table angles ending in 5 are for the guidance and rounding to one decimal so you can use these uh, uh, tables instead of using uh, this function a sign or this uh, degree function so the thing here is whenever we are applying transformation data transformation uh, the idea is uh, to stabilize the variance uh, thank you very much uh, hope uh, you will uh, like this video